I've got to look up what these flowers are. Big, big clusters of little, tiny, tiny white flowers on top of plants with big, big green leaves. See them all over the place here in Oregon. And they're really pretty. I'm not sure what they are. They don't really have much of a scent. At least not that I can detect. I'll have to check and see what they are when I get a really good signal. Oh well. Let's see where I go from here. So I'm just uh, out for a morning walk here in the woods. Uh, I'm in a, well, I'm camped on a, a forest service road. And I'm not that far from where I'm camped. Um, but there's active logging operations around. You can hear the chainsaws running. I walked down this road a bit, and I don't know if this is all dead, and that's why they cut it down, or if this was a planned area. There's a lot of, a lot of trees like this, 12, 14 inches in diameter. I don't know if I call that old growth, not when I see stumps that are three, four feet in diameter. Uh, as I look over this valley area here from where I'm camped, I can see spots where it's been cleared and there's new growth. Like for instance, looking right through the trees there, you can see taller trees growing that it's been cleared. And it's growing back, which is good. And I know that there's a lot of blowdowns. And I know there's diseases and bugs that eat trees too. So I don't know how much of this was done because of that. Up there higher on the hill, that's all new growth. Most of those trees there, probably not more than about. 10 foot tall. I don't know how long it takes for them to uh, grow, but considering that a lot of these trees here, these young ones, what I would call young, these are at least 50, 60 feet tall. I know they'll get even bigger. I'm not sure how many years it takes them to grow, or maybe I should be counting in decades. As I was walking in here, 
down in this area, there was a deer that was in there. It saw me. I saw it. I heard it before uh, I was able to get my camera out, unfortunately. And then it moved back down that way, and I saw it running. Again, didn't have my camera out, unfortunately. And it was very, very indignant. I could hear it going away. It was snorting. It was not happy to be disturbed on this peaceful Wednesday morning. <laughs> oh, well. Sorry about your bad luck. It was my bad luck not to have my camera going. But that's the road I came down. There's another road that goes up that way. And then this road continues on and goes in that direction. But these trees are down here. I don't know if they fell down on their own, which is entirely possible or if they were cut, but, or if they were cut before they fell down. But there's no heading in that direction. Not that I want to anyway, because all I'd be doing is heading down a uh, closed off road that uh, they're doing logging on. But, it's a pretty quiet morning. I can't really hear the logging operations from where I'm camped. The trees do a good enough job of uh, blocking the sound. Even though they're not that far away from here. Right here in this spot I can hear them pretty well, but they're just not that far away. And there's a lot of dead timber here. Old. I mean, for instance, here. That wasn't cut. That, t that split and broke off for whatever reason. They got weak trees. If you know where that movie reference is uh, from, you're doing good. If you wonder why that was so unstable, I had to scratch my nose and it was easier to do it with my right hand holding my phone than my left hand. I'm hoping that deer shows back up, but it might be a mile away by now, or it might be out there somewhere in the tree line watching me, wondering why this weird human is wandering around talking to himself. Oh, well. Well, here's a stump from a tree. I'd say it's probably about, oh, 18 inches long way, or about 16 inches the narrow way. Not sure how old it is. I guess I could go ahead and count the growth rings. I guess I could. I'm not going to. 
but that's what it looks like. Oh well, that's enough of this video for right now. I'll see what else I see today. Hopefully I'll have my camera out if I see any more deer. Alright, I'm out of here for now.